Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry to tell you, today is a sad, 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 sad day. I don't care what anybody says, but you know, I don't know. I don't know why Microsoft always have to make me feel like, uh, you know, you're going up and down on a roller coaster ride. I'm here in my car right now, doing a video, waiting for my kids. I have to pick them up. Uh, I'm always on the road, so it's really hard for me to do videos and put content on YouTube here on my channel for you guys to, you know, give out my thoughts and, and let you know how I feel. But it's definitely a sad day. If you're a real gamer and appreciate gaming in the Xbox community and you don't feel like this is a big deal, um, this there might be a, something wrong with you, you, you know, because... Uh, you, you should question if you still like gaming for what it is, you know. Microsoft let go of Twisted Pixels. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of things that I, thoughts that I have that I think it might be. And there might be another, a lot of reasons that we might not know at all. But uh, Twisted Pixels is a fantastic development team. Uh, they have a lot of talent. A lot of talent. Uh, the art style is second to none and their creativity if you like innovation and you like you know old school style gaming mixed with new school with the new hardware and tech that's you know come to be uh, on these new consoles they definitely know how to take advantage and create something special uh, the, they were acquired and bought by Microsoft in uh, 2011 I believe and they've done fantastic games and all of their games to date are probably the best, the best of the best arcade or digital download, if you will, games that you can buy on uh, on, on Xbox Live. Uh, and they're all, you know, intellectual property. They belong to us exclusively. So I don't know what is the deal. Um, but it, I think it's a really, really dumb really dumb and stupid move by Microsoft and I'm calling them out hard right now because you know I don't know if it's, it was anything to do with them or if, it, if that's how it is but if it was them it was really dumb um, uh, all of their games from Mr. and Mrs. Explosion Man The Mall uh, you know Comic Jumper and Local Cycle and you know I was looking forward to a sequel to Comic Jumper for a while, but mainly Local Cycle 2, I feel is a very, very underrated game. I even did a review of it on my channel, as you can see. I'm a big fan of them. That game is amazing. Uh, it's really cool. It's one of a kind. You know, it's like a hybrid mixture of beat 'em up with with shooter, and, and you fight. You know, with a motorcycle. You know, go figure. And it has all the elements of old school style, you know, video games mixed in one in one mesh, in one awesome package, from QTEs to Gatling, you know, running on Gatling guns on rails. It has a lot of homages to old Sega games. These guys are talented, and you can tell and know that they know what they're doing, and they do things for the love of gaming. That they grew up with the love of gaming. Uh, all their games, you can go back and check them out yourself, and none of them suck. You know, they're all beautiful and great games in their own right. But I have a feeling, you know, and I could be wrong, you know, because Phil Spencer knows what he's doing, and he has been, uh, you know, um, making really good decisions as far as what games come and don't come, you know, even though I'm not happy with the Tomb Raider deal. I still, that still doesn't rub me the right way. Uh, you know, I still don't get it to be honest. Yeah, you spend money developing and marketing and 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 pushing a game just for a year of exclusivity. I mean, that's a big deal, but if it's still gonna come to the other platform and still be, uh, you know, the uh, 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 same exact game, nothing special to offer because they're doing that bundle that they just announced and they it's a regular black console, they didn't even put a white one. To, to 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 you know mesh with the theme of the snow mountains and the snow snow level that that she's in or even a red one uh, would have been nice plain red didn't have to have necessarily uh, sound effects or 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 even stickers 
or custom designs on it. It could have just been a nice color, you know, with a nice controller that color. Uh, you know, people would have gravitated more to it because it, it, it catches the attention more of people. Um, but anyway, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to take forever uh, on this uh, video talking like I'm ranting or whatever, but I have a feeling that because Microsoft is, has these up and coming, uh, you know, uh, you know, digital uh, title developers like, you know, like Limbo, but, but it, you know, I can't really say Limbo because Limbo came to PS4 and stuff and they're making games for PS4 as well, but Ashern comes to mind, uh, you know, Cuphead, for, for example, and even uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. These are all wonderful games from wonderful developers up and coming. And as soon as they came out, Microsoft said, you know, kind of like what they did with this Pixel also, you know, these are IPs that are going to stay on our Xbox platform for the rest of life and existence as long as we live and as long as Microsoft exists in the gaming industry. Uh, which is all cool and said and done, but you know, I mean, I don't know if this might have played a role or a reason, but because the games Twitch's Pixel has brought out haven't really sold well, you know, because that's another problem. We we call ourselves gamers, and there's all these beautiful uh, games and wonderful little gems, and we don't really go out and support them, and they're not even expensive, you know. So it's kind of our fault too, as a community, that we don't pay attention enough to these other games other than the big AAA titles. And I understand they're fillers, but they're also very good games. And that's the difference that sets us between, uh, the difference between Xbox community and the PlayStation community and sets us apart from them. You know, they appreciate pretty much anything. It, the game could be about Dookie or taking a shit in the toilet and they embrace it, you know, which is pretty stupid, but it's to give you an example how different we are. You know, we're so spo spoiled on the high standards that we, sometimes feel or act like if it's not a triple a we can't bother with it and that's not what gaming's about you know yeah it's about the big triple a titles first and foremost foremost but we're already getting those but it's also about these these good hidden gems i mean these these guys never done a triple a title and it was announced two years ago after the release of local cycle that they were working on a triple a title and to be honest with you i had my hopes high because I was really hoping that they were working on uh, new Battletoads with Rare because these are the type of guys that need to make a new Battletoads or, to be honest with you, a new Conquer. They're perfect. You know what I mean? They're perfect. They have the sense of art style and they have the sense of, 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 of fluid grace in a video game that those games need. These guys are master of their craft, believe it or not. You know, and I know a lot of you guys might disagree with me and be like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, HeBot has been gaming for a while, for a long time. And, you know, that's not my real name, obviously. But, you know, I'm a gamer true and true, through and true, before anything. And I got to call Microsoft out on this because I'm not happy. I'm not. I really ain't. It's like that bundle they announced this morning. That's the most dumbest thing ever. Lego movies, the Lego movie game included. That game is a year old already, or more than a year old. It already sold its pass. It caught its, it's caught, it's caught up to its peak. It's you know, and sold more than enough. Kids ain't interested in that. Why didn't you throw in Lego Jurassic Park or Lego Dimensions with a terabyte and sold it for three ninety nine? That would have made more sense. You know what I'm saying? Those are new Lego games, and those are appealing to the kids right now, and they still haven't run its course. So you sell those, put them in the box, and give a good price. That is a family kid bundle. You know what I mean? Not no, not something that feels like they just tacked it on and still selling you the box for the same price with pretty much any nothing. Because that game, nobody cares. It's old. Whoever was going to buy it already bought it, especially when it comes to children. Children always buy what they want and ask their parents for what they want. Me being a parent, I know. As soon as it comes out, they don't wait two or three years and say, oh, I want this. It's not the way that works with children. I'm sorry, no. So anyway, to get back to the point, um, you know, I just hope that, it, you know, I, I have a feeling that, it might, you know, like like everything else is business. I know their games haven't sold well, but I have a feeling it's all about money because their games haven't sold very well. And I know, you know, it makes sense. I get it. I know Phil, Phil Spencer, 
he knows what he's doing, but you know, sometimes, you know, you, I feel like he just might lose faith too fast. I'm not saying him in general, but Microsoft. Because remember, he has to answer to his own boss also. And maybe that's the reason why, but these guys have never had an opportunity to do a AAA title. And I'm telling you, they're a hidden gem. They're, they're, they're the type of developer that one of these days, they're going to come out of nowhere and they're, just, and they're going to do a AAA title that everybody is going to catch their attention. And they're going to be like, holy cow, these guys are phenomenal. These guys are good. And, and that's my fear. That now, because of the fact that they're back to independent, it's going to happen. And fast. Uh, because it's happened in the past. Uh, Sony, you know, ha they like to, to, to capitalize. On, on, on other people's mistakes. That's what they're good at. You know, they do it a lot. That's how, that's how they make their made their success since the Saturn era. And that's what pisses me off um, big time. Uh, because nobody calls them out on that and they let them do it. And, you know, if they make a game now, you know, exclusively for Nintendo or even PlayStation for, for their console, and, you know, I, I hope it doesn't taste sour to us later on as the Xbox community or Xbox fans, you know, in general gamers. Because, um, you know, that's what happened in the past with, you know, it come to mind in the case of Kung Fu Chaos. That was, uh, I believe it was Ninja Theory. Same guys were making Hellblade. They started on the Xbox platform, but they made a game that was, to be quite frankly, wasn't a big deal. Or one of those games that people it was like a party game that people didn't really care about even though kung fu chaos is a cool game if people that played didn't know which one i'm talking about it was a cool game but it wasn't a big you know game that caught your eye right away off the back in presence it's just one of those little hidden gems that you could play around with your friends and family now what i'm talking about is when they left they did uh, heavenly sword and even though heavenly sword might not be a great example it was a good game and in the same style of games that i like like beat em ups and hack and slash and you know like Ninja, like Ninja Blade and and, and 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 Ninja Gaiden and stuff like that, or even God of War. Uh, and I always wanted that game to come to Xbox, but it didn't. So I had to end up buying it for the uh, you know PS3 platform. Uh, you know, and I enjoyed it. It was a very good game, um, even though it was a launch title, but it was good. You know, and and that's what I, I I'm afraid that might happen with these guys, Twisted, Twisted Pixel. That, you know, now that they're independent again, you know, they're going to go and make a game, exclusively make another deal with somebody else that we're going to regret and that Microsoft is going to regret and Phil Spencer is going to re regret, you know. I know everything has to be budgeted and they have a budget for everything they do. I get it. It's business. I get it. But yeah, I don't feel that these guys have got a fair shot. And if it was that they wanted more money, to be honest with you, I feel that they deserve it. And Phil should have gave him another shot, and Microsoft in general, if that was the case. But if it's that they're just, I, I feel like they, I, if they feel unappreciated because they see the love that these other up and coming guys are getting, even though they've been there for four years and done good material, and they're not getting that same love because they haven't sold well their games. Well, it doesn't mean that they're not good developers, you know, because just because games don't sell well, don't mean that they're that they're not good games there's a lot of games out there that are good that a lot of developers do and people just don't buy them they don't and there's a lot of spanish protagonist games like local cycle and shadows of the dam and even just cause that don't really get bought and all those games are good and just cause is good as a franchise you know what i'm saying and we hispanics and latinos we don't even support it as well either because if we did those games would do well, uh, well because there's a lot of us out there that are gamers so that gives me the understanding that maybe we just don't support them and they're you know and we should because it's kind of cool because there's not a lot of spanish protagonist characters in game like there's not there never used to be a lot of you know blacks and or african-american if you will before somebody called me racist or or even um uh you know uh women you know you know, it's always cool to have a lot of diversity in different games and universe. That's a great thing. That's what makes gaming amazing. It's the only uh, real format that you can do that and you control it, you know. And you play out the worlds and live the worlds, you know. It's, in movies, you've got the same format, but you don't really play it out. It's whatever's given to you, scripted in the script. But you get what I mean. So, you know, 
at the end of the day, be honest, honestly, you know, if Phil, you know, if you were the one who, who could have done something and brought it to the attention of the boards at Microsoft and didn't because you're based in, on, on your decision only and solely on sales, even though you know when there's good talent, they're good talent, or maybe it's out of your hand, you know, um, then I'm calling you guys out. It's very stupid. On you. It's a dumb move on Microsoft. Stupid. Very dumb. Very sad day. Uh, I'm sorry. My lot of you might not agree with me, but I don't agree at all. Uh, these guys is worth to be fought for. Microsoft should do some type of deal. I don't know if it's too late because they already many confirmed it. But if they uh, have any type of flexibility where they can make another type of deal or structure something else, you know, down the road, then I would say Microsoft should fight for them to keep them as our in-house developers because they're they're good. They're real good. They're just, like I said, they're just like a hidden gem wait, waiting to be found. And when they do, believe me what I'm telling you, people are going to recognize. They're going to get that limelight, especially if they go do something on the other side, like on Nintendo or, 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 or you know, PlayStation platform because they'll make sure they announce it everywhere. You saw as soon as they announced that they were leaving, it was everywhere. It was all over the media. Real quick, didn't, they didn't feel, because these guys know that they're good. So they know, you know, oh, now it's coming to this or it's coming to that, you know. And and that's the kind of stuff. I don't know, it's almost like Microsoft likes bad press. It, that's almost what it feels like to me. They like bad press. They do something phenomenal, something great, and then they do something that you're like, what the hell, what were they thinking? Or, that's pretty stupid. Or they're fucking dumb, for lack of a better word, you know. And this gotta stop, man. They have the the, the the experience, the money, you know what I mean, and and the power to to like, like a lot of people said in the past, like next gen and other people to be on top, man. They could be destroying everybody, even if it's good for to have competition. But they could be destroying everybody easily, and it almost feels like they just whatever. It feels like that sometimes, and I don't like that. And also, you know, that's what scares me too, because Remedy, they should have been acquired Remedy a long time ago. Now, I don't know what type of relationship they have. They must have a really good relationship where they just feel good. <coughs> where they make games with Remedy, and they don't feel like they have to buy them out. Remedy doesn't want to be bought out, maybe. Or maybe they ask you for too much money, or maybe they just like the relationship they have like that, where they just work together, but they don't have to... Uh, uh, what you call it, they don't have to uh, uh, compete with one another, but at the end of the day, the bottom line, like I said, uh, Remedy's another developer they need to buy, and that's what I'm scared of, that they're not going to do it, and they're going to let them go too one day, and then you'll see their great work or body of work somewhere else or something new, and they really deserve to be bought. So anyway, guys, uh, it's like I said, welcome to my carrito. I'm renting a car right now. Your boy got into an accident with his family not too long ago, about three weeks ago. I haven't had my car back. I'm waiting on that. I'm in a rental car right now. It sucks. It's expensive. Um, but let me know what y'all think. You know, let me in the comments and hit me up. You know, like, comment, subscribe. And remember, if you subscribe, I know you don't have to. Uh, you're part of the family, but I know you don't because I know you don't have to. Uh, but, uh, you know, Xbox for life, like a sickness that can't be cured. And again, yeah, you know, Microsoft, you know, if you could do something, do something. Save these guys. You know, rethink what you're doing because I think they're worth every penny. You know, they're just waiting to be found. You know, and I was really looking forward to it because they were doing a AAA title. And I really thought that was Battletoads. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Peace, guys.